Mekushada Rasa Rakata Kada Mekushata Bagada Gadagada Masada Baye Mekashata Daba Rasa Daba Ragada Gada Me Rupa Bati Libra Handi Rupa Bati Masada Baye Zuka Shada Bagada Rasa Taye Zuka Yekere Masada Baye Kere Masata Da Bagada Ragada Mekushada Baye Kere Masata Da Ragada Gada 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 Mekashata Yekere Masada Baye Kere Masada Ragada Gada Gada Mekushada Rasa Tada Bagada Gada Gada Mekushada Baye Kere Masata Yekere Zuka Shata Da Ba Ragada Gada Mekashata Yekere Rushka Tali Mazu Tali Gado Shata Masada Rabba Gada Gada Mekushata Yekere Rasa Tada Yekere Masada Baye Zuka Shata Da Ragada Ragada Gada Mekushata Rasata Masata Yekere Zuka Shada Rabba Gada Gada Rashada Baye Zuka Sata Da Ba Gada 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 Masada 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 Ragada Mekusha Tada Ba Gada 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 Masata Yekere Zuka Shata Ye Masada Ba Ye Masa Masa Zuka Yekere Gada 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 Masada Ba Ye Zuka Sada Ragada Gada Mekusha Tada Ye Masada Ragada Gada Mika Sata Da Ba Gada Gada Zupra Hande Kali Bra Teli Gado Shatelia Masende Zupra Hande Arush Kateli Gado Shatelia Aruba Badeli Gado Shatelia Masende Maga Gaga Gaga Zuka Shata Ye Rasta Tada Raba Gada Yaka Da Gada Gada Mika Shata Ye Kere Masada Ba Ye Zuka Shata Ye Kere Masata Ye Kere Masada Raba Badeli Bra Hande Meku Sada Rasha Tada Ba Meku Sata Da Ba Gada Gada Masada Ba Ye Kere Masada Raga Da Gada 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 Meku Shata Da Ba Ye Kere Masata Ye Kere Masada Raga Da Gada Zuka Sata Ye Kere Masata Ye Kere Roshka Teli Gado Shatelia Masanda Roshka Teli Gado Shatelia Masanda Alleluia You have won the victory Hallelujah the victory we have in Christ Jesus because no matter the plans of the enemy we cannot be held down because Christ has won the victory for us I want us to begin to appreciate the name of the Lord and say Father I am grateful I am grateful for the victory I have in you 
because I overcome the world even as Christ has overcome the world. Let's begin to appreciate him of God and say, Lord, I am grateful for the victory I have in you. Lord, I say thank you for the gift of salvation. Lord, I say thank you for the victory I have in you. Because you have overcome the world, therefore I also overcome the world. Father, I say thank you. Father, I say thank you. Lord, I say thank you. Father, we say thank you for the victory we have in you. Lord, we say thank you, Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you, Jesus. Father, we say thank you, Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you for the victory we have in you. Father, we exalt your name. Lord, we say thank you for the victory we have in you. Father, we say thank you. Ancient of days, we magnify you. Father, we say thank you for the victory we have in Christ Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. Father, we exalt your holy name. Oh, we bless you, Jesus. Father, we bless you, Jesus. Because no matter the plans of the enemy, Lord, we say thank you because we have victory in you. Father, we say thank you, Jesus. Father, we say thank you for your son, Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. Be the exalted in the name of Jesus. Oh, we exalt you, Lord Jesus. Father, we glorify your name. 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 Glorify your name. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. In the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. 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 Father, we bless you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are still praying. This morning, uh, we'll be uh, we'll praying for strength. And I want us to quickly look at the book of um, First King. Book of First King, chapter nineteen. It's a popular Bible passage, and uh, I just want us to quickly uh, use that pray place to pray. And I read from verse one. Now Ahab told Jezebel everything Elijah had done, and how he had killed all the prophets with the sword. So Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah to say, may the gods deal with me, be it so severely, if by this time tomorrow I do not make your life like one of them. Verse 3, Elijah was afraid and ran for his life. When he came to Bathsheba in Judah, he left his servant there while he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness. He came to a broom bush, sat down under it and prayed that he might die. I have had enough, Lord. He said, take my life. I am no better than my ancestors. Then he lay down the bush and fell asleep. All at once, an angel touched him and said, get up and eat. He looked down and, and there was, and there by his head was some bread baked over hot coals and a jar of water. He ate and drank and then lay down again. The angel of the Lord came back at the second time and touched him and said, get up the get up and eat for the journey is too much for you so he got up and ate and drank strengthened by that food he traveled 40 days and 40 nights until he reached Oreb, the mountain of god there he went into a cave and spent the night praise the lord we are praying for strength uh we can see from this place how elijah a man of a great man of god who has done exploit how he was being uh, terrified by Jezebel. And if we, if we check the previous uh, uh, chapter, or the previous chapter he was talking about, we see how Jezebel has killed the prophet. You know, and it was, she vowed that she need to lay her, her hands upon Elijah. And Elijah, who was a man of God, you remember Elijah was um, the one that the, the children were saying, Elijah, Elijah, uh, the bad man. And he just with with uh, the word and say fire should do what should consume them. That was how powerful Elijah was. And at this point, he had he was he was afraid, and he could not even do this by his might. And the angels of the Lord told him, I mean, the sleep that he should eat for the journey is far. What I want to bring out is we need the strength of God to move on in this journey. No matter how far we have come, no matter how we might have um 
the spiritual understanding, we still need more of the strength of God. And the word of God says in Isaiah 40 that those who wait upon the Lord, he shall do what? He shall renew their strength. I'm praying for strength this morning, the Lord, I am strengthened in this land of the United Kingdom. I am strengthened to, to move forward in the thing of the Spirit. My strength is renewed to move ahead in the journey that is t- uh, uh, that, I- that the journey ahead of me. Lord, I receive your strength. Lord, strengthen me in the name of Jesus. Father, I am strengthened in the name of Jesus. Strengthened to do exploit. Strengthened to, uh, to, to do exploit for the kingdom of God. Strengthened to, 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 to go ahead in the journey that you, Lord, you are leading me. Lord, I am strengthened. I receive strength in the name of Jesus. Lord, I receive strength this morning in the name of Jesus. Lord, you strengthen me in the name of Jesus. Are you considering some things and you feel like, how, how do I want to go about this? You need the strength of God and I want you to ask for God to give you that strength this morning. Is it your job? Is it your business? Is it, is it, is it your spiritual life? Any area of your life that you are thinking you are weary. Just tell it to God this morning and say, Lord, I receive your strength in this regard. And I move by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Lord, I am not wearied. I am not tired. Even according to thy word that you renew my strength. Lord, I am strengthened in the name of Jesus. I'm strengthened to overcome the word. Strengthened to overcome the power of the enemy in the name of Jesus. I receive the strength of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Lord, I am strengthened in the name of Jesus. I am strengthened to do your work. I am strengthened to do your will and purpose for my life in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, strengthen me in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, strengthen me. In the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, I am strengthened in the name of Jesus. Uh, I am strengthened in the name of Jesus. Oh, uh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, uh, for in Jesus' mighty name, we are still praying. Wanting lack of strength makes one to do is to lose the sight of what God is doing in our lives. You know, when you, when you are not strengthened, when you see what you're supposed to do, but you don't have the strength, you know, you won't be able to achieve that. I just want us to pray again that, Lord, everything you have said concerning me, your purpose for my life, your will for my life, it is easy to live the God kind of life when you are strengthened by God. You might be saying that to live the righteous uh, life is, is, um, is easy. It might be easy. It might be difficult depending on the kind of power you use to live that kind of life. I just want us to tell you to God that Lord, you strengthen me to live the life of righteousness and holiness. That living according to your will and purpose of God for my life is not difficult. But I receive that strength in the name of Jesus. The strength to go forward in doing greater exploits in, in living a life of purpose and fulfillment in the name of Jesus. Lord, I am strengthened in the name of Jesus. Lord, I receive your strength in Jesus' name. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I am strengthened to do your will. I am strengthened to walk in your ways and your will and your wills alone in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are still praying. Uh, the word of God says in 3 John 2, said, um, that thou may prosper in all things and be in health. There is the place of prosperity. There is a place of being in it. And you cannot prosper when you are stagnant. You cannot prosper when you, you, are, uh, when you have an ailment. I just want us to pray to God and uh, the Lord in every um, area of my life, I prosper. I am not hindered by uh, 
ailment. I am not hindered by weariness. That Lord, you help me to prosper in the name of Jesus. Uh, even according to your word for my life, that I prosper in all things. Lord, I am not limited by ailment. I am not limited by diseases. I am not limited by uh, weariness. I am not limited by by, uh, by circumstances in the name of Jesus. The circumstances notwithstanding, I prosper in the name of Jesus because I prosper in God and not in man. In the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, I prosper and I'm in health in the name of Jesus. Oh, uh, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are still praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are still praying. Lastly, I want us to pray as a church. That the Lord will strengthen us. The church needs the strength of the Lord to move forward, to expand, to, to reach out to the lost, even to increase our population. It takes the strength of God. You know, when we consider uh, the way we come and, uh, and, and go back to our various places, we see that uh, we need the strength of God to carry on. The Lord, as a church, we are strengthened. To, to, to expand the kingdom of God. We are strengthened. Our strength is renewed in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for the full redemption, chapel, united kingdom, that the, what God is doing in our midst, that it will not stop in the name of Jesus. But we are strengthened to go in that might, even to expand the kingdom of God in the united kingdom, that every one of us will go and do exploit for God. That the Lord, we are enabled by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Shibranati shuda kanda balo shada galaba. Ashubranati subranati kushada galaba laba. Lord, we are strengthened in the name of Jesus. Uh, you strengthen every one of us as a church, as individuals in the name of Jesus. Uh, that we expand the kingdom of God in the United Kingdom in the name of Jesus. Uh, the full redemption chapel, United Kingdom. You are you are strengthened in the name of Jesus. Uh, we are enabled of uh, uh, from from uh, from, um, from above in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, we are strengthened in the name of Jesus. Father, you strengthen us in the name of Jesus. Oh, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, for in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Let's continue to worship the name of the Lord. Let's continue to glorify him. Let's worship him. Let's give him all the praise. Let's give him all the glory. Let's worship him. Let's give him all the glory. Let's worship him. Let's worship him. Let's give him all the praise. Let's give him all the glory. Lord, we worship you, O oh God. We exalt your name, O oh God. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, O God. We worship you, O God. We give you all the glory. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you, O God. We worship you. We give you all the glory. We worship you. Father, we love you. We praise you. We adore you. Glorify your name in all the earth. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. Glorify.
Yo 
your miracles we stand in awe of your holy name of your holy name lord we bow lord we bow and worship you lord we bow lord we bow lord we bow and worship you Father, we bow lord we bow father we bow and worship you jesus we bow lord we bow lord we bow and worship you we sing holy holy are you lord are you lord all creation call you god we call you god worthy is your name we worship your majesty Great thou art, great you are, you are God, you are God. mighty are your miracles, we stand in awe of your holy name, of your holy name, Lord we bow and worship you, Lord we bow, Lord we bow, Lord we bow and worship you. Yes, we bow. Yeah. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow. And worship you. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow. And worship you. Oh, Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow. And worship you. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow. And worship you. Lord, we sing. Lord, we sing and worship you. Lord, we sing. Lord, we sing. Lord, we sing and worship you. Lord, we clap. Lord, we clap. We clap and worship you. Lord, we clap. Lord, we clap. We clap and worship you. Lord, we shout. Lord, we shout. Lord, we shout. And worship you. Lord, we shout. Lord, we shout. Lord, we shout. And worship you. Lord, we shout. Lord, we shout. And worship you. Lord, we dance. Lord, we go. Lord, we dance. And worship you. Lord, we dance. Lord, we go. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow and worship you. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow and worship you. Lord, we sing. Lord, we sing. Lord, we sing and worship you. Lord, we sing. Lord, we sing. Lord, we sing. Lift up your hands, 
One more time. One last time. One last time. Shell 
oruka jesu oruka la oke shidi kuro oke oke shidi kuro iwa oke shidi kuro mo pa she oruka jesu oruka la oke shidi kuro oke shidi kuro iwa oke shidi kuro mo pa she oruka jesu oruka la Okay, Three more times, three more times. Lift up your two hands to Jesus this morning. Karushka taparatos ya paratos kevenes. Eskapanoski parushka tabarato plahatos ke parahan de 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 himos kapanas. Embrados kapaliam brodos izeli katarabosha. Lift up your voice to Jesus this morning. Radosha te kadenia mahande le brahatos ke pala hande keroska. Haiko bradosi kaya. You must know by now that there's nothing that can stop you. You must know by now that you're unstoppable. You must know by now that you're unstoppable. Satan would always try, but Satan cannot win. 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 Satan cannot win. Satan cannot win. Satan cannot win. Pray like someone that knows that the devil cannot win. Pray like someone that knows the devil cannot win. I comparos cabana caica volato celebrando skepelia. Marosi la prado skele. I coma maele brondo dosi la haida. Oh, yama kalosi la brando de ricabana handele de bredosina. Eh, ma handele la mosia prados que veleta lia baradosin. Ay de barate clejedos que para jete bredos en amandelia. Mombre dosi la haikove. Mayole hambradaya ya combre etosia. Mora la cleto que brete que di cada masse te libre eto que niama. Embrete veleto si la hande le preheto de skipa hande le prahados que ve que diaba has que de de. El embrahadosia mambre etosia. Je copa que do ma hande de de preto tosia. La de 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 dia combre hados que. Oh, we give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. Hai mose le te breto dosi. Ma de de li abraha dosi la hande de diam. Mombre he dosi la hande credo sina. Oh, we give you glory. Oh, we give you glory. 
Satan may try, but Satan cannot win. Satan may try, but Satan cannot win. The devil may try, but the devil cannot win. I am a malicated. I don't know if you feel that joy in your spirit this morning. I don't know if you feel that joy in your spirit this morning. It doesn't matter what the devil does. It doesn't matter what the devil does. It doesn't matter what the devil does. It doesn't matter what the devil, what the devil does. When the enemy comes like a flood, the Lord raises a standard against them. When the enemy comes like a flood, the Lord raises a standard against them. I am Mose fe la hai kabom jedima le hende le te breto kadeli aparatos ke pekeli aparatos ke ba oh ya mahale te rados ya mahande oh we thank you oh we thank you. Oh, 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 we thank you. Hey, ya hai ke vola hareto shene me hai meron de librando ske ke lima haderia batos ke pele. Mambroto teli kayama katos ke perato si aparate o yama ne si la hai ko fe le tayama mo pratos ke pekedo si la hare do do shataya oh we thank you 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 hey ya mo se la hande we now we now oh, oh, oh. you want to dance with the Lord this morning dance if all we do sing and dance that's we know we now what are you going hallelujah. forever hallelujah. we now we, we now now we now we now we now we now we now Jesus you know we know we now Pata, pata, you go win forever. We know. Oh, are you a winner? I am a winner. Oh, are you a winner? I am a winner. 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 Are you a winner? Are you a winner? I am a winner. Are you a winner? I am a winner. Are you a winner? I am a winner. In the Lord Jesus. Psalm 24. Glory. There is something that winners do. Is that winners declare. Is that winners say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord do what? Let the redeemed of the Lord do what? Are you the redeemed of the Lord? Then say so. Are you the blessed of the Lord? Then say so. Are you the lifted of the Lord? Then say so. Are you excited to be in God's presence this morning? You know, there's something about this devil always trying to to kibosh your plans. You know, it's always sometimes you have to see things for what they are. Sometimes you have to see warfare for what it is. But w it's not every warfare that you start saying, "Oh Lord, where are you?" There are warfare to just laugh and say, "Is this the best you can do?" 
That's what we say to the devil this morning. This is the best you can do. If this is the best you can do, you are finished. <laughs> you are finished. Sometimes you know when you start to gain ground in the spirit, when you start to gain territory in the spirit, you start to see some of these things. Hallelujah. Psalm 24 from verse 7. No, from verse 1. The hearth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell in it. He has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the flood. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, shall receive the blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of we that seek, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Just begin to declare this morning. Every gate be lifted up. Every gate. Who art thou great mountain? Who art thou gate? Before full redemption chapel UK. Before full redemption chapel worldwide. Be lifted up. Be lifted up. Be lifted up. Be lifted up. In the name of Jesus, are we praying? No, today is not the day for quiet prayers. Let the heavens hear you. Let the earth hear you. Let men hear you. Let, let, let challenges hear you. Let opposition hear you. Who are thou great mountain? Yes, you might be great, but our God is greater. Ebratos kete paratos kepe kete lia barats. Embreto kete ke ligados kete bereto klahatos kaba. Every gate we command you to be lifted. Every gate we command you to be lifted up. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You realize in verse 8. It says, who is this king of glory? You know gates cannot talk. But gatekeepers can talk. There are gatekeepers everywhere. Your, your boss at work is a gatekeeper in a sense. There are gatekeepers at every point. But as you know from scriptures, that as you have physical gatekeepers, they are usually her spiritual gatekeepers. So you realize that you s you'll be reading a scripture like when God was addressing, um, what do you call it, in Ezekiel, Ezekiel 28, addressing the devil. There was a king of Tyros at that time. But the king of Tyros, as he was the physical gatekeeper, there was also the devil, the king of Tyros, who was the spiritual gatekeeper. So in this passage, you see a call and response. It says, lift up your heads, O ye gates. Not and be lifted up ye everlasting dust that the king of glory might come in. And then somebody answers and says, who is this king of glory? You will speak to every gate. Every gate, whatever that gate is, I don't care. Gate of infirmity, gate of sickness, gate of lack, gate of want, gate that constricts men, gate that force men to constrict conform to a certain mold say i say unto you every gate and i speak unto you every gatekeeper be that open effort be open in the name of jesus effort be open in the name of jesus i are you praying are you praying in the name of jesus every gate i speak to you every gatekeeper i speak to you in the name of jesus be thou open be thou open, be thou open, be thou open. Whatever that gate is mentioning before the Lord, be thou open. This is the month of fasting and praying. Be thou open, 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 be thou open. 
be thou open, be thou open in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord said, it is him that shuts a door and no man opens. It is him that also opens a door that no man shuts. You will pray again. Every gate that should be closed that is open. I was having a conversation with somebody and it was such a crazy, crazy discussing about, you know, um, generational things. And we were tracing, this is how it happened to the father. This is how it happened to the brother, brother. This is how it happened to the guy. This is how it happened to the younger ones and everything. And I, I won't, I won't go into details, but, but you can imagine. You, the person was like asking me questions, like, "When did I finish secondary school?" And I said, uh, "Wait, when did I finish secondary school again?" <laughs> 2003. And then the guy was like, um, "You know, when myself and somebody wrote, somebody that wrote Waeg before me." And today, uh, the person just finished the first degree. You know that kind of, and the re only reason they finished is because they won. The uh, ones that had gone before that person that did not win, they didn't finish. So you will pray again. Every door that should be closed that is open. Every door that is open that should be closed. I command the, the I, I reverse the order in the name of Jesus. Every door that should be closed that is open. Every door that should be open that is closed in the name of Jesus. I, I correct the order. I close by the authority of heaven every door that must be closed. I open by the authority in the name of Jesus every door that must be open. In the name of Jesus, Zeta Libra Hatoske Paris, Jeto Paroto Ke Libre Hedoskima, Zente Libereto Sila Hande Libre Hedoskima Hande, Hombra Hatoske. Pray, pray, pray. Any door that is open that should be closed. Every door that should be closed that is open. In the name of Jesus, I correct, I reverse that demonic order. In the name of Jesus, in our midst, I reverse that demonic order. In our midst, in our lives, in our families, in this ministry, in this branch, and in the entire ministry, every order, every in the lives of anybody, any demonic order, where what should be morning is evening, what should happen in the evening is happening in the morning, what should happen in the morning is taking forever to happen. In the name of Jesus, I reverse that order and I declare every door that must be open remains open. Every door that must be closed, I close. In the name of Jesus, every door on earth in heaven. Rebato lekete breheto skebaya. Jeton belete brahando skevele hande. Jate katote made dalete. Jete pereto skebete. Jadon balaton breheto skeba. Jeto kade kete. In the name of Jesus, I close the door to demonic heritages. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the lamp of God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Until some doors close, there will not be an open heaven. Until some doors open, God will not do anything. You will pray that prayer in this way, that, O oh Lord, let there be divine attention to any doors. Whether I'm aware those ones that I'm aware, those some I'm, I'm not aware of, that's supposed to be closed, that is preventing your move for my life, that is preventing your grace to come to manifestations in my life, 
Let that be your divine attention towards it. Can you pray that prayer? Say that word of prayer very well. La bosso katoba, kakakambu katole kete poso kendelia. Radabazoze keke kepo kuta katapa. Santole gadobro. Zobala gadaba sakanta legadobo. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lamp of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Unto the Lord be the glory. Let him be as done. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great is he has done unto the Lord. Be the glory. Great is he has done unto the Lord. Be the glory. Great is he has done. Great is he has done. Great things he has done unto the Lord. Be the glory. Great things he has done unto the Lord. Be the glory. Great things he has done. Great things he has done. Greater things he will do unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done. Can you just worship God in the depth of your heart this morning for great things that he has done, for great things he is committed to do, and for those things that he is doing presently? Just say, Father, I worship you for the openings of the doors, for permanent close of those doors that reveals God's covenant to come to fulfillment in your life, for a new beginning. Just worship God, just worship God for this new month. This is the month of power. This is the month of, of, of divine encounter. This is the month that God has made. This is the month that when you cry, when you speak, and God is committed to answer you. In a special way, just say, Father, thank you. Father, I give you glory. Exalt your name. I just say, thank you. Just say, Father, thank you as you speak your mind to me in, one, in, in, in another time this hour. Just say, Father, thank you because as I'm going to hear you, you will speak to me. And uh, my heart will be opened unto you in a special way this morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, because there will be true speaking and true hearing of you. Thank you, Lamp of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Loving Father, King of glory, excellent God, we want to appreciate you because you are the best God. Thank you because there is no one like you. Mighty to save, mighty to deliver, mighty to set free, the one that is, the one that was, the one that will be. The everlasting Father, the King of glory, the almighty God, your mightiness is incomparable. Mighty to kill, mighty to bring back to our life. Oh, Baba, we worship you. Because you are just the best among the best. The most best Father in all the world. The most best Father in this world. The most best Father in everything. Father, I serve our tank and places in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus, because you have brought us to this great uh, table this morning. Thank you because you have committed to bless us. Thank you because you have called us to your presence and to bless us. Thank you so much for the reign of the blessing. Thank you so much because of this blessing upon our life. Thank you because you are not a deaf God. 
That is why any time we call, even before we call, you give the answer. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you because you are the God that is alive and alive forever. We reference you and we magnify you. You can never go on holiday. You can never go on the silent, but you are always there, active and alive. That is our thank and praises in Jesus' name. Amen. Unto you we come today. We receive the readiness of hearts. Fatai art to receive you. And to take portions of those things that you have in store for us. In the name of Jesus. Bless every life. And make our life to be a blessing to our generation. Thank you because you have done it. In Jesus' name we pray. Can somebody celebrate the King of Kings once again? I believe you can do better for my father. The one that is, the one that was, and the one that will be. Hallelujah. Tell the person beside you, say, God is committed to bless me today. And I'm going to invite you for celebration. Maybe you didn't hear me carefully. God is committed to bless me today. And I'm going to invite you for the celebration. So, Salibi, in the name of Jesus. Shall we take our seat as a king and queen in the presence of the Lord? Hallelujah. I want to appreciate God for this privilege and this opportunity. I'm not taking it for granted. And I pray that the Almighty God will bless us exceedingly more and more in the name of Jesus. The topic before us by the grace of God this morning is profit of fasting. As we all know that we are in the month of power, as we all know that we are in the, a crucial month in this ministry, and as we all know that this is the time that we cannot joke with, and that the Lord Almighty God will help us in the name of Jesus. I want to read from the book of Isaiah chapter 58. I want to start the reading from verse 1. The Bible says, Cry aloud, spy not, lift up your voice like a trumpet, tell my people their transgressions, and the house of Jacob their sins, yet they seek me daily, and delight to know my ways, as a nation that did righteous, righteousness and did not forsake the ordinance of their God. The acts of me, the ordinance of justice, they take delight in approaching God. Why have we fasted? Listen to that fast very well. I'm going to lay emphasis on some verses there. Why have we fasted? They said, and you have not seen. Why have we afflicted our soul and you take no notice? In fact, in the days of your fast, you find players and exploit all your laborers. Indeed, you fast for strive and debate, and to take and to strive with the feast of wickedness. You will not fast as you do this day, to make your voice hear on high. Look at verse five. Is it a fast that I have chosen a day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head like a bush and to spread out sackcloth and ashes? Will you call this a fast, an acceptable day to the Lord? Is this not the fast that I have chosen? Listen to verse 6. Is this not the fast that I have chosen to lose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burden, to let the oppressed go free, that you break every yoke? Is it not to sear your bread with the hungry, and that you bring to your house the poor who are cast out, and when you when you see the naked, that you cover them, and not hide yourself from 
your own flesh. Then your life shall break forth like the morning. You shall, your healing shall spring forth for speedily. And your righteous shall go before you. The glories of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry, and he, and he will say, Here am I. If you take away the yoke from your midst, the Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in draught and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a water garden and like a spring of water whose water do not fail. Look at verse 5. Those from among you shall build the old waste place palaces you shall rest up the foundations of the many generations, and you shall be called the repairs, the restorers of the street of dwell in. Praise the Lord. Let me stop there because of our time. Praise the Lord. It is not a noise. I mean, it is not a news that you were in the times of fasting and prayer. But it's another thing when you are doing something and you don't understand why you are doing it, the reason why you are doing it, the purpose of doing it, the benefit in it, you may not be able to do it correctly. And if you do it correctly in your own way, you may not be able to get the right results. So doing something is not important than getting the right results. Not only getting the right result, but getting the desired result that will pronounce you to your word. People in the world may do things in the way they want it. People in the world may do things the way they have determined to do it. But getting the right results will make you to be the right person that God is determined to bring out something to this world. And I pray, as we go on this journey, the Almighty God will bless us in Jesus' name. Because of our time, I quickly run towards something. I mean, I will quickly run through my note here. Then we start the journey from that place. I want us to know that this time that we are is a crucial time in this ministry. And not only that in this ministry, fasting and prayer is very, very important in the life of a Christian. We cannot do without it. Fasting is not a religion exercise. Fasting is not just because they want me to do it, let me do it. If you fast because they want you to fast, if you fast because they have said we must fast, there is no result for it. And what is the purpose of a child going to school without getting results? It's going to be a problem to himself. It's going to be a problem to the father. It's going to be a problem to the mother. It's going to be a problem to the church. I mean, to the school. Because every year we've been in the same class. There is a program of God that God is running every day, every time, every hour. That when God says do something, there is a program that God is running that wants to take us to the level that he has planned for our life. Until you get to that level, you will not be able to see God in action. You will just be hearing about God. You will not see God in a practical way. It is better for Christians to experience God in a practical form than in theory form. So when you are in, 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 in line with God's plan and God's program, you will enjoy God in a practical form than in theory form. Those that enjoy God in theory form, they, it seems as if they, God is not exist. They only say it. But when you are enjoy God in practical form, then you enjoy God more and you call the attention of multitude to serve God. That is what happened to Daniel. That is the result of Joseph. That is the result that uh, the three Hebrew enjoy. The, the king said, nobody should serve other God again except the God of Daniel. The king said, nobody should serve other God except the God of Satan, Messiah, and Abednego. Because those people, they experience God in practical form than in theory. 
We are in generations, we are in the age that until you experience, you demonstrate the power of God in a practical form, you can never prove God to the world. We must leave the errors of just saying it and come and see, but we must go to the error of let the practical form of God come to our life. That you don't even need to preach a long message to a sinner before they said, I'm ready to serve your God. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. So what I'm saying here is this. Fasting is a spiritual exercise, not a religion exercise. And when you do it the way you ought to do it, you get the right result that is required that God is committed to. So let's see what fasting is here. I'll quickly run through my uh, no because of our time. What do you mean by fasting? I said here, yeah, I said fasting is a spiritual obligation for a believer. It is something that is mandatory. It is something that is important for a believer to assess the power, the grace, the practicalities of God in our life. Jesus, when he was speaking, he did not say, if you fast, according to the Matthew. He said, when you fast, I don't, it is something, the English people, those people that study in English, they are different between if and when. So God is saying that when you fast, maybe somebody will quickly read for me in, in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 16 to 18. So the God is saying, Jesus is saying here, when you fast, it is not if you fast. So, that's so fasting is a compulsory thing that we must do. Yes, sir, I used there, sir. Moreover, yes, sir. When when, listen to that. Moreover, when you fast, yes, sir. Be not as the hypocrites. So, listen to that. When you fast, be not be what? Do not be as an hypocrite. Now, listen to that phrase very well. That, that, the, what I want to bring out there is when you fast. That's us there we must be a time to do the, the work of fasting. Yes, sir. Quickly run to 18. Of a sad countenance, mm -hmm. for, for they disfigure their faces, mm -hmm. that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Mm -hmm. But thou, when thou fastest, Mm -hmm. Anoint thy head mm -hmm. and wash thy face, mm -hmm. that thou appear not unto men to fast, mm -hmm. but unto thy father which is in, sec in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. It's okay. Praise the Lord. Now, the word when you fast, that is where I'm going. When you fast. So that's us doing in my fasting. How is my continent is going to be? What, what am I going to put on? When you see some people doing the fasting, you will see that that is when they will be feet touchy. That's why you will see their eyes and everything like that. But what God is requiring from us, the request of God from us this day, is when we fast, how are we going to carry our body? What are we going to do? Is it the time to feet touchy? Is it the time to... To, to focus on what is happening? Is it the time to pray the environmental prayer? Is it the time to pray the mind of God? So fasting is a compulsory thing for the believers. That is number one thing I want to bring out here. Then fasting is not an optional. It is a covenant obligation to live a victorious life. Fasting is not an optional. It is a covenant obligation to live a victorious life. To live a victorious life, to live a triumphant life, to live God. Wherever you find yourself, there is a need to do work we call fasting. Fasting must involve to demonstrate the practicalities of God in this same time. Enough is enough for us to preach theory. There is a need for us to show the God wherever we find ourselves. And we cannot do this thing alone by the word of mouth. Until what? See power. 
some people will not believe. Even in this part of the world that we find ourselves, until there is a practical demonstration of the power of God, people will not believe what we carried. Because science is in place, until science fails and you put God in action, then they will not believe you. I had an experience during the weekend. Somebody in the place of my work, I think, the, the, she, she has been in that challenge. She was crying of pain. And I saw the agony. I was moved. So everybody, the, the speciality, they came. Different one, different one, this one, pain, team, pain, nurse, pain, this. And I was moved with what I, when I was doing something. I said, can I pray for you? She started laughing. Can I pray for you? She started laughing. I said, please, can I pray for you? She said, yes. Okay, close your eyes. So she didn't answer. Okay, are you ready for me to pray? And I prayed. Within five minutes, she slept off. For about 15, I mean for about 12 hours that I was with her, she slept like a baby. Now, I've, I was just now thinking, I said, this is God. This is not my prayer. That science fail, but God cannot fail. So until we carry God to the people in the world and we tell them that science fail, but God cannot fail. So people will not believe you until you prove God practically. So what I'm here is this. God, Jesus is not saying when you fast. So fasting is compulsory. So because of our time, let's go on further. Let somebody open to the Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. There's something I want to bring out here. So until we fast, we may not be able to demonstrate God practicality. 21, thank you, sir. It's okay. This thing cannot happen. The solution cannot come. You cannot put God into a system in the midst of where the science is ruling, where the laws is in place, where everything are already planned. You cannot put God practicality except you include fasting to it. So as a Christian, you cannot live a victorious life without adding fasting to the journeys of the faith. So, I said here also, I said fasting is a spiritual responsibility to secure our glorious destiny in Christ. This is my responsibility. As somebody, you want to grow fat, you want to live healthy, you eat your food. So, the same thing, to secure your glorious destiny in Christ, you need to add fasting to your spiritual exercise. You want your baby to look fine, what will you do? It is your responsibility to feed the baby. Then you want to enjoy God in a practical form, there is a need for you to add fasting with it. So that you can get fatter in Christ, so that you can get robust in Christ, so that you can get to the level where God has planned for you. So I said fasting is what is a spiritual responsibility to secure our glorious destiny in Christ. You can put Matthew chapter 9, verse 14 to 15. Because of our time, we may not read it. There are some verses of the scripture that we may not read. So Matthew chapter 9, verse 14 to 15. So let's look at this uh, note of warning. We are now in the day, I mean, we are now in the days of fasting. We are now in what? In the days of fasting. Let somebody open to Matthew chapter 2, verse 20, or Luke chapter 5, verse 35. Anyone you see. Jesus was telling the people, they came, the, 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 the disciples of the John, they came to him. They said, Jesus, can you see what is happening? The disciples are eating, they are enjoying, and Jesus, was, Jesus told them, he said, listen, leave them. Let them enjoy now because the master is still with them. Jesus has gone to heaven. We are with the Holy Spirit. Now, 
We are in the seasons of the Holy Spirit. But Jesus that was that was there physically fighting the battle is already in the heaven. We are the one to fight the battle. So for us to now do the experience the same result that Jesus experienced during his own time, there is a need for you to do the fasting now. This is the day of the fasting. Can you read that place, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And his mother. No. And Matthew 2.20. 2. Mark, sorry, I'm sorry. Mark 2.20, I'm sorry. Mark 2.20 or Luke 3.35. So that is where Jesus was telling the disciple that let them enjoy very well. Mark 2.20. Yes, sir. But the days will come. Mm-hmm. When the bridegrooms shall be taken away from the them. The bridegrooms shall be taken away from them, yes, sir. And then shall they fast in those days. Mm-hmm. In those days. And this is now the day of the fasting. Jesus is no more on this earth physically. Though he's in you. The, you carry the Holy Spirit around. But you to experience the same result that Jesus experienced during his own time. This is the time to do the fast. Now, I said here in my note, I said fasting is not a spiritual religious principle, but a spiritual exercise for a believer to get full attention of God. Now, a note of warning. Let me read this one again. Fasting is not a religious principle, but a spiritual exercise for a believer to get full attention of God. But a note of warning on this, you cannot use fasting to bribe God. Oh, if I fast, I know I will get this result. No. You can't use fasting to bribe God. But fasting is a way of getting quick attention. Perfect attention. I had uh, a story of uh, Pastor E. E. Adeboe. I think they said in the, in the family, they said, you are not permitted to go to school because of one thing of the other. And the Baba, I was told that Baba said, I won't eat. And the first, first day Baba didn't eat, second day Baba didn't eat. And I think they have concluded that they are not sending him to school. And Baba said, I'm going to school. No. The third day they didn't eat. And the mother now went to, see, my dear call my pare. And that was how the Baba was given the opportunity to go to secondary school. And from there, he got discovered and other things like that. So, you know, when you deny yourself of some things, you get some results. So the same thing, when you deny yourself of food, you deny yourself of play or at that particular time, may I tell you, you get a particular result. To, to get the attention of God in a special way, there's a need for us to fast. That is why there is a the church put in place let us fast at this moment. Thank God they said this is the time of uh, Lent or what do they call it. But until you know the time, um, you, you know the importance of what you are doing. You know the reason why you are doing it. You may just be doing it the way you want. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. I put here because of our time, Let me. I will quickly run to the benefit. But I just try to do the acronym of fasting. F, you can write it in a diagonal form, F-A-S-T-I-N-G, because of our time. I just said here, I say fast track the miracle, the F. Facilitate the process. Number one, fast track the miracle, facilitate the process. Fantune yourself in the spirit. Let me start with that three. Number one, fast track the miracle. Facilitate the process. Fantune yourself in the spirit. That is, switch in the spirit. Switch to it in the spirit. Then, hey, I says, accelerate the result. Accelerate the result. Assess the power. Authorize the power. Accelerate the result. Assess the power. Authorize the the what the power. Thank you. Then S here I say speed up the process. You know, 
in chemistry, when we were in uh, secondary school, they told us something about catalyst. When you want the results to come fast, what do you do to read? You add catalyst. Those people that cook, I think I know little to thing about cooking. It may be a village one. But when you want to cook okra, I mean, uh, a way to jute, if you put cow potassium, you see potash or potash, potassium, <laughs> if you put cow inside a way to jute, it will cook very well. And if we don't fast, there are some beans, we call it a wolo dududu. If you put little corn to it, within a few seconds, you get it done. But if you don't put it there, you are just there forever. If you are using gas, you will waste a lot of gas. So the same thing, that is your fast. When you want to do fast, and you want a quick result, add fasting as a catalyst. There are some things that when you pray for three hours, your mind may not be there because you are too heavy in your stomach. You feel sleeping. But when you are without food in your stomach, and you know the reason why you are hungry, ah, my God. The fasting is a catalyst. It's a spiritual catalyst for believer. So, hey, I said accelerate the results. That is, you put the catalyst in. Assess the power. Okay, oh no, I'm moving to S, sorry. So S is speed up the process, which is catalysts. Saturate the atmosphere with the power and its presence. Then S here, I say sacrifice all. Sacrifice all. Sacrifice all. There was a man in the Bible that lost everything because he refused to sacrifice all. Who is that man? Uh, what is the name? Saul, God bless you. He said, what do you mean by food? What do you mean by bad right? Just give me food. Let me belly food myself. Esau, thank you. Let, thank you, sir. Let me just fool myself. And at the end of everything, he lost everything. Some Christians, they have missed divine God. I mean, divine, they have made divine destiny because of food. When it comes to food, anything that you are saying to some people, they can't hear you again. Particularly if you grow up in weird day before you wake up in the morning. It is the haroma of food that will wake you up. And when you are going to sleep, they are, pre they are flaring meat that you are going to eat in the next day. So before you take your food in that time, but let me tell us this, we cannot become a spiritual giant in such atmosphere. Am I making sense? We cannot become a spiritual giant in that atmosphere. I eat a lot. But it's not that you will not use food to hold me down. No, it is impossible. But there are some Christians, when it comes to food, whatever you say, we not enter again until that food enter. But that souls, they are spiritual baby, irrespective of their level. So there is a need for us to sa sacrifice all. That is the meaning of fasting. You sacrifice your food, you sacrifice your water, you sacrifice your player. Not only when you are fasting, that you go again and you go without food that you are fasting, but there are some times that you sacrifice your, your player. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Then in that S also, you sanctify yourself. When the Israelites were coming from the land of Egypt, it got to a state that God wanted to move among them. He said, ordain fast and sanctify yourself. Clean the pump until there is a sanctification, God will not come down. Until there is a sanctification, the move of God will not become a practical. It will only be in a theory form. And it is better to experience God in a practical way than in theory form. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Then, a, a T, because of our time, is tackle the challenge. The challenge is ordained to come. 
But the way I tackled it will determine the result. There is no person, there is no student that go to school that will say that we will not face the exam. But the person that have passed the exam is the one that knows how to read. It is not the amount of the time that you go to class. So the challenge will come, tackle it. And what will you use? Use the key of fasting. Then tolerate everything to get what you want. It may be painful when you are fasting. Tolerate it at that particular time. It may be painful, but at the end, it will be gainful. Because over time, let's move further. Inspired in the spirit. That is, be sensitive. Let God know when you are fasting. Then invite God into the matter. That is fasting. God, because of this, I deny myself food. Jollof rice is going. Fried rice is going. Everything is going. And I decided not to take part in it. Ah, God. No, I want you in this action. You remember in the book of Acts of Apostles, there are some people that they wanted to keep Paul. But because they want to keep Paul by all means, they deny themselves in fasting. I mean, in food. Or food. So if the unbeliever can do that, because they want resort to eliminate somebody. And you want to do the same thing and put God in the practical form and make God evidence to be uh, to be in your life. There is a need for you to deny yourself or something. The food that you eat today it is not the one that will make you to go to, to do tomorrow. There's another in Europe. When you to die, you can die. So if I refuse to eat for the next 30 days, for the next 40 days, will that one kill me? After all, we have seen the example in the Bible. Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. And uh, we saw another example in the Bible. Moses fasted for 40 days. And the people around him, they increase it another 40 days, making 80 days. You know, that one really baffled me. Somebody has been with the Lord for the 40 days, solid 40 days, without food. And he got there. When Baba supposed to enjoy himself, they cause wahala. Baba have to go back to heaven. I mean, to God. You know, that one is very dangerous. That is why during the fasting, there is a need for us to get caution. So that people will not make your journey of 40 years become 40, 80 years. There are some situations that you just close your eyes to during the fasting. Some people will want to provoke you. Your body wants to provoke you because you are denying yourself. Don't let people carry you. Hello, somebody? When people want to step on your toe, for this next 40 days, please don't let them turn it to another 80 days. They did it for Moses. So they can do it for you. Tell anybody about Mumidake. Don't let them just turn your spiritual exercise to religion exercise. 40 days, it's going gradually. Hallelujah, somebody. I say, Hallelujah, somebody. So I, inspired in the spirit, inclined to the instructions of God. What you do in doing it fasting is to incline to what God is. What is the program of God? What am I fasting? What did I need it for? Not because I want to fast. Oh, they say we should fast. You are just wasting your time. Oh, it is six o'clock that I must break. Everything. What you are pamper, what you are program. No. If you know that your mind will not be there and there is no food to eat, and you know that by 6 o'clock there is no food to eat, prepare the food by 4 o'clock, eat, then go for prayer. Not that you will be thinking of 6 o'clock, then your mind will you be praying, Oh Lord, help me in the name of Jesus. Then you are thinking of what to eat. You are wasting your time. If it is 4 o'clock that the food is available, eat it, let your mind be on God. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. 
So you invite God into the matter, then and because of our time, neutralize the flesh. When you fast, you subdue the flesh. There are some things that will go from you. There are some things that you put in place. There are some things that you build authority over it. There are some toxic materials in your body that fasting will take away. Fasting is one of divine healing. To get ill. The people in medical form, they know that when they want to heal some diseases, they will say, let's put in on fasting. So, then, narrate the case to God. In the book of Isaiah, the Bible says, come, let us reason together. Let us have a, a round table. During the fasting, narrate the case. Don't be too spiritualized. God, this is what I'm passing through. This is my error. This is where I need you. Let us realize together. Let us discuss. The, the, the time of fasting is time of discussing with God. Until you get to a level that you say, God, this is what I want. This is what, uh, God, what do you see to this? You still have a long way to go. Then, the G, there because of our time, is go in that power. In that power. Go in the power of God. Then gather the momentum to deal with the situation. Then God alone in charge. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Let's quickly go to the uh, prophets because that is the topic of the message. That one is just like things. Uh, so what are the prophets? I will quickly tell us uh, maybe 10 or maybe San Marini the table. But when the result come, they can't doubt it. You know, all of us, there is a break time in the place of work. They will say, everybody, let us go. But your own is, you are just doing like this. Like a friend of mine, he said he had been looking at his brother. When everybody sleep in the night, his brother will just be doing like this. And his brother will just be speaking like this. And he got to a stage, the Lord just catapulted the brother. What other have been working for, for the past 40 years? The brother got it within a day. So during that time, they doubted the results. I mean, the approach. But the results, everybody celebrated. Your own results will call for the celebration. I said your result will call for a celebration. They may doubt the approach today, but the results will attack attract the attention of multitude. In the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 1, verse 8, that number one thing that will happen is that you get access to the power of God. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To let the oppressed go free. There is nobody that can uh, uh, deliver anybody without the power that supersedes the person that is laid and uh, old on captivity. You break every yoke. So, Acts chapter 1, verse 8. How Jesus anointed with the power and with the Holy Ghost. He was going about because of he carried that power. He was doing good, healing those that are oppressed, delivered in the bondage, the people that are in the bondage. So the number one uh, benefit, profit to gain in fasting is to get power. There is a need for us to go with the power of God everywhere we go. We cannot demonstrate the practicalities of God. The practicality of Jesus on this earth without the power of God. We cannot demonstrate the presence of God on this earth without the power of God. Our Christianity is just mouth without practical demonstrations of the power of God. The Bible says when Jesus was preaching, the power of God was present to heal. So, until the power of God is being demonstrated in your life, there are some people, even if you preach fire, they won't accept your Christ. Thank God in this nation, in this part of the world that we find ourselves, until they see power, they won't listen. Because science is already in their head. 
have discovered that even in this country, they believe NHS than God. They believe in NHS than God. They believe in their doctor than God. So if that is the case, until you bring the practicalities of God to the place of war, to where you are, then they will listen to you. So there is a need for us to be a Mumbai power of God. And we cannot do that with biscuit and chocolate. This is the word of chocolate. You cannot do it with the fried chicken every day. Chicken are plenty. You cannot do it with everything available. So there is a need for us to go with the practicalities of the power of God. So number, so you can put Luke chapter 9, verse 1 there. Luke chapter 4, I mean chapter 4, verse 14, and uh, Luke chapter 9, verse 43. Anyone you've seen, you can read it in that place. There was a time that they brought a problem to the disciples of Christ. And uh, they were wondering, why is it that this thing are not going? And Jesus told them that this thing is not only by mouth. It is not only by say devil go. There are some people that will say devil go, and devil will not listen to them. But there are some people, before even they cited you, they know that there is power. Bishop David Rippo said he was coming from a, uh, he was in a meeting and uh, he, he, he asked the people there that who is a witch yet? As you stand up, and the witch, the, some, a lady stood up and he said, What are you doing with your uh, witch practice? And the lady said, Whenever we are on the road, we cause accident. And the man said, ah, The Baba said, If you see somebody like us coming, what will you do? He said, Ah, we take cover, low. We run away because we saw the higher power coming. Until we get to that stage, without even opening your mouth, when you appeared, the demons flee. The demons run away. I heard about Katie Kuma. I was reading about his documentary. There was a time he needs to preach somewhere. He got to the place of the meeting. And they have been battling with one demon. They wanted to cast out the demons. They were trying, the pastors, they were trying. And then they said, ah, man of God, you are here, you are welcome. There is one demon that is troubling us. Please, come and help us. He said, go and tell the demon that Ehe Harlan is around. The moment that they went back to tell the demons, the man fell down and the demons ran away. So until we become a mobile power, we cannot demonstrate the presence of God. So, number one thing is we become, we get the power. And that is what we need. When you get the power, you get the authority. You've been in command. You've been in charge. You've been in charge. So, power, that is number one thing. Then number two, because of our time, is destructions of the yoke. There is no yoke that anointing cannot destroy. There is no yoke that the anointing cannot destroy. Let somebody open to Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 and that the same Isaiah 58 verse 6. Isaiah 58 verse 6. Also, so when you fast, you become a yoke broker. Is it financial yoke? Is it spiritual yoke? Is it family yoke? Is it earth yoke? You break them. Yoke is not permitted to be in the life of a Christian. Because it is not part of covenant uh, heritage. Part of your heritage, part of your spiritual heritage is deliverance. It's miracle. It's living free. So when there is a trace of yoke in any areas of your life, there is a need for that anointing to break it. So, which one did you see? Yes, sir. It shall come to pass in that day, and now is that day. The burdens shall be taken away from all their soda. This yoke of their neck. The yokes are be destroyed because of the anointing. So the anointing will come and it will increase when you put fasting and prayer in place. So number three, because of our time, 
Fasting puts believers in command of divine or outbreak of revelation. There are some things that you may not have the knowledge of it. There are some lights that you may not catch. There are some light that you may not have knowledge of it. But when you fast, your eyes of understanding will be enlightened. When there is light, you don't need to pray for darkness to go. So, but when you get the revelations of something, you don't need to struggle about it again. There are some things that you don't need to pray about. When you get the light of it, you operate freely and without any stress. So, when you get the light of God in any particular issue, other may struggle, you get it done with ease. If you are a businessman and you get the light pertaining to a particular thing, other may struggle, you get it done with ease. Look at the people that do mathematics, the mathematician. When you give them this particular question, and there's something that others are struggling to do, those of us that we didn't read mathematics, Within a second, they will do. You think, what are they doing? There was a day I was with uh, Brother uh, Joshua, and he was writing something like code. I was just saying, what is the meaning of this thing that this man is doing? And he's doing it with ease, with uh, what do you call it on his head? And uh, for me to type my name, I will have to be looking for the key on the computer. <laughs> that is his feed. He got the revelation through it. This is a train nurse. If she's doing something now, I may be thinking, how is he doing it? But she has acquired the revelation. So until you have the revelation, you can never escape the door or the prisons of struggling. Until you got the revelations of something, you can. So it's the fasting that will give you the access. Of divine revelation. To enjoy the outbreak of revelations, you need to put the fast to it. That is why the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 1, it says, Arise and sign. So when you arise, that's what the revelation. When you sign, darkness, you don't need to pray for the darkness in your room to go the moment you switch off the light. How many of you pray when you switch off the light and you see the light and she pray, Lord, let the darkness go. You are just wasting your time. But if you don't know where there is, if the switch is, you will just be struggling, knocking your head. Before you know what happened, you lose some of your teeth. So that is what some believers do. They pray. They do a lot of things. But there is no revelations in the prayer that they are praying. I don't know how to pray much. But I just pray a little. When I get the light of that thing, I will just say, God, this is what I want. And I get the result. Not the time that you spend in the prayer that is matter, but the result that you, you command, that is what is something that's very compulsory. Somebody may get to the room. Let's say, for instance, now, this, my sister, got to this room, and then you put the switch up here. What do you think we'll be doing? You'll be struggling to get there. If this sister get there, he doesn't need prayer to do it. He will just put it on. So when you get the revelation, that is out, you get some things done in the spirit. Have the revelations of what you are doing. If it, is it a finance, sit down and get the revelations of it. Is it a money? Get the revelation. Is it your career? Get the revelation. Until revelation is in your heart, you will not get the, you will not be able to command the results. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. I say the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Salvation, I put, I say salvation rescues us from destruction. But revelation rescues us from frustrations and confusion. There are some people that their Christianity has become confused because they think is God still in heaven. But when they get the revelations of what they are doing, oh my God, they will command the results in, a, in an easy way. There are some things that Brother Tolu will do when it comes to business now. If I try it, because I don't have the revelation of it, oh my God. 
Nobody used big girl to collect money in the bank. <laughs> yes. You don't become the principal of your co of your community school of your school community by the age. You get it by what? By certificates. So there are some revelations that Brother Tolud had in business that if I try it, I'll become the best failure in that area. Are you getting attention? So you, you need the revelations in everything. The day I got the revelation that borrowing is something that is against the word of God, I have no, I've been enjoying it. And when it comes to finances, I don't rack my brain again. Until you get the revelation of something, you'll be struggling for it. And there are some believers, they believe they are borrowing. That is not where we are going, just a, a, a bypass. Some believers, they believe that borrowing is part of God's provision. No. So until I got that, until you get the revelation of a particular thing, you will just be struggling for it. I don't pray about the finances. God will work it out. So you need the revelation. So salvation rescued us from what? From destruction. But revelation rescued us from frustrations and confusion. Some Christians, they are struggling. Some first Christians, they are struggling. They are struggling because they didn't have the revelation of it. So, number five, because of our time, it gives us purification. Access to sanctification. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 8, you can see that one there. So, another thing that they will do for us is with us, fasting with sanctivirus. Another thing that they will do is that fasting provokes God to supply speedy answer to our prayer. You can put Isaiah 58 verse 9 there. Fasting provoke God to supply us speedy answer to our prayer. Fasting, another thing the fasting will do here for us is that fasting prepare divine guidance. You can put Isaiah 58 verse 11 there. When you get home, quickly go and read it. It prepared us. It gave us divine guidance. You will know what to do when you get the attention of God. Then another thing that we do is that fasting, it provoke God to give the release of supernatural breakthrough. There are some breakthrough that you need to get. You cannot get them without adding fasting to it. Another benefit Sorry, I'm in haste. Okay, and in front of that one, you can put Isaiah chapter 58, verse 12. When you get home, you can quickly read that one. You know, we have read this place before. Isaiah 58, verse 12. So, fasting what? It provokes God to give us the release of supernatural breakthrough. Isaiah 58, verse 12. Then, fasting provides divine speed. Access. I mean, acceleration in the journeys of life. There are some things that other may do Look at the people that are in the sport, in the world of sport. They will deny themselves some food so that they can run fast, so that they can carry their body. If you want to go for marathon and you have started eating pandedian from <laughs> yesterday, and there's somebody that decided not to eat since three days ago, and the person come first, you will say, one sojoro, one sojoro. <laughs> it is what is in you. Unteyebajeleyemagbefo. <laughs> If brother Paul is eating padediam, let's say since three days ago, up to this morning, and they ask him and Caleb to compete, just for 30 minutes, before you know what happened, if brother Paul is going ahead of Caleb, in the, just give him the next 20 minutes or 15 minutes, he will leave him behind. Brother Paul will be panting like a good man behind. What is happening is that he has fed himself beyond male. There is the same thing in the spiritual realm. There are some people that they are on the eagle's wing. That is where God is expecting us to operate. So fasting what? It increases us. It provides divine speed and acceleration in the journey of life. You can put Isaiah 54 verse 14 here. Then second to the last or lastly is that fasting it gives unending illumination. There is a light that will shine when you fast. Because your eyes will open. Even what the food close your eyes against when you fast. 
You know the kind of AB that will come that you'll be sweating under AC. Have you experienced it? So you will see what you're supposed not to see. You will see those things. You will see clearly. So to get humiliated about something, to get direct light about something, you need to fast. You need what? You need to fast. So fasting help us with that. So you can put Isaiah 58 verse 8 there. And lastly, because of our time, fasting is a provision for God's glory to radiate in anybody's life. This is a provision for God's glory to radiate in anybody's life. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. We are in the days of fasting. We cannot do without it. We cannot do without it. So in this time, there is a need for us to see it as our responsibility. You may not be able to fast the 8 o'clock. But make sure you fast. And your fasting is getting attention to God. Not the kind of fasting that you want to do your prayer. You put your phone aside. If you pray for 30 minutes, you are better than somebody that pray for 4 hours. And as he's praying, he's thinking of, he's putting the food on the fire. As he's praying, he's receiving call. As he's praying, you don't know that we are in the time of prayer. Listen, listen. We are in the time of fasting and prayer. I will call you later. But I see he's called me. I'm praying. You are just wasting your time. Me, if I want to pray, I, you know I told you I don't know how to pray. If I want to pray 30 minutes, if it's that 30 minutes, if I lie down on the bed or I lay down, 30 minutes I'm done. And I can get result of somebody that did 3 hours. Because how can you compare me with somebody that is praying? He put one hand in the uh, oven. He put one hand in the kidney, speaking in tongue. If you want to collect something from the president, will you be cooking and then be discussing with the president it is not the kind of prayer those of us that we are uh, with the little kids it's not the time of the fasting that we want to be doing that when you're supposed to feed your child first and say let me pray for one hour and the child is crying if you want to fast if you want to pray for 30 minutes pray for 30 minutes use the rest 30 minutes to feed your child it's better than you say i'm praying for one hour 30 minutes you attend to the child we are just wasting our time. So let it be the time of re-responsibility to God and the total attention. Can you close your eyes as we pray? Just tell to God that in this time, O oh Lord, help me. Help me, O oh Lord. 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 Oh Lord. This is a time of fasting. This is a time to plan. This is a time to prepare our fasting. This is a time to pay full attention to God's duty. This is a time to persist. This is a time to persist for breakthrough. If you persist and the devil cannot resist, this is a time to persist. This is a time to persist. If you persist, devil cannot resist. 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 Persist this time. Persist this time. Pray that prayer quickly. And that final statement is so important. If you persist, the devil cannot resist. Many times it's a game of endurance. How far, how far are, you, are you willing? How desperate are you for what you want? In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you quickly pass the communion? Can you have a seat for one minute? Pastor Sam, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. He did mention one of the things he emphasized that I hope we got is the fact that there is a sacrifice to fasting. Let me tell you now, this world is a world of sacrifices. You are always sacrificing for what? How many of you are, have gotten whatever result you have without actually studying for it? You're studying it for, it's a form of sacrifice. Thank you. Your giving is a sacrifice. And many, many times, what, thank you, what happens is that 
the people of the world. That's why Jesus said that they are wise in their own generation, that the children of light. They know what to give to get what they want. I would ne- one of the <coughs> stories that made the biggest impression on me was, I think, it was Bishop um, Oduwali before he passed, and he was telling us he, wa- he came for a crusade one time and he was telling us about his father, and his father was such a dedicated man to the devil. He was telling us the battle he fought to get that man saved. That man will fast forty days. To see the devil. Mm-hmm. It's not to see God. Oh. 40 days to see Satan. So that Satan can come to his house. And they said that when Satan is coming. The whole street will know. Because he will be removing people's roofs. As he's coming. And you will know when that force enters the house. So for those 40 days. All his wives. All his children. Everybody must just, just get lost. Because the man is fasting, because the man wants to see Satan. And Satan will come. And they will have discussion. Sometimes they said the old the old fasting, the old encounter might not be more than ten minutes. But it has cost him forty days fasting to have ten minutes encounter with the devil. So when sometimes when it looks like people in the world are prosperous because they are offering sacrifices that we don't know about. You you look at elections and you are wondering how did this person win? You, you know there are you know the number of the human beings that they've drained their blood on the mat on that matter. You so you can discuss all the politics you want. There's a reason somebody else is smiling. He knows they know what they are. Somebody let me not even. <laughs> So the point is, if you, it is it's sometimes in the spirit, many times in the spirit, it's, it's the weight of sacrifice. Mm. Somebody offers a chicken and somebody wants to overthrow it and goes to offer a ram. And then somebody comes and offers a human being. And you think your ram will do anything when somebody has given a whole child. So this fasting period, let us, let us know what we are doing. Let, and I thank God for the message because... Let it not be that after the fasting, when people have gone up a level in God, they are asking you that where were you when everybody else was fasting and praying? Because believe me, at the end of this fasting, people are going to go up a level. Let it not be that you are the one that has not gone anywhere. Also, Dad mentioned that um, if you are pregnant or not feeling too well or anything, you should eat by 12 everybody else sometimes between three and six if you fast after six you're on your own that's what he said how many of you heard him yeah okay so i'm not making it up you are on your own the church fasting finishes by 6 p.m go and eat and when you are fasting drink water the bible says jesus fasted for 40 days he didn't say jesus did not drink water he was in the wilderness and jordan was in wilderness the only person that we know that fasted, that we are sure fasted without drinking water was Moses because he was caught up into the heavens. So his body was suspended. So his body's metabolic activities shut down because he wasn't there for 40. Everybody else ate and drank. God, you realize that the people in the desert, God always pulls them by water. Even Elijah, he, when he ran, he ended up at Brook Cherith. So there's always provision. Please drink water. Don't say you are Superman. <laughs> Hallelujah. And when you are breaking, please be careful the way you break. Somebody, fa- I know some, I had the story of somebody that fasted for maybe seven days or 21 days or something. He was, when he wanted to fast, he fast, he broke the fast with a bar. <laughs> you are laughing. The guy died. Yes. You cannot have suspended your body's routine. And you want to... I mean, if I fasted three days before and you decided to eat solid food when you were breaking, you will struggle not to stalk or someone that did it for 21 days. The guy died. When he gets to heaven, they will crown him, but they, maybe the angels will first slap his face because it, that's lack of knowledge. Yeah, it's, hallelujah. <laughs> also, normally I don't recommend people watch TV when you are fasting. You can fast not away from just food. You can fast from things. You can fast from TV or whatever guilty play. You can fast from cake if you like cake. 
and you say, okay, this person says, I'm not going to go. Morrison cake will not tempt me. It is because you always have to willingly exercise authority over things. If there's something that you can, if there's an addiction you can't break, this is your chance to break it. These 40 days, I'm not going to touch this thing and heaven will not fall. If heaven falls, we will catch it. You understand me? But if he mentioned that the Adeboye's story, that's why I, why I even remembered. If you have not had the chance, you should go watch that uh, Mount Zion movie about his, his, the story of his life. It's called Enoch. It's on. It's free on YouTube, and it, it's such a powerful. He, he actually in that in that little video, it's less than two hours. He actually you they actually portrayed that part where he refused to eat until. Until his father decided, okay, this boy will die if I don't send him to school. And then the man sent him to school. The, the man that has been keeping a ram, a, a ram that was going to sell for big money, he had to go and sell the ram so that this man could go to school. So we, it, it is, you have to show God that you are really, really desperate for what he's bringing. And um, let me add this one. Uh, when it comes to fasting, you people that are married, unless the Bible says, unless the two of you agree to stay away from each other, let us not have issues. So. <laughs> you are laughing. If both of if both of you agree, fine. But if both of you don't agree, and you have energy left after fasting to six o'clock. You are laughing now. Before, so if, it's true because if 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 somebody if 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 one person is on one side getting hungry, their fasting and prayer will not be going to heaven. No. Are you hearing? It's true now. If somebody is on one side getting angry and both of you are holding hands and praying, you are. It's only one person that is praying. No, the other person is. <laughs> in fact, in fact, in th- in terms of the Bible, actually, no, none of his pray. So it's better you don't even bother praying. So uh, seriously, have people have that discussion? Are we abstaining or we are not abstaining? If you are not abstaining, when you finish your fast, you do whatever you want to do. It's you that know. When you can fast from that if you want, but let it be that both of you are are, are, are on the same page. And if you have agreed. Yeah, and if you have agreed, ah, you say brothers. It's not only brothers, so oh, that is a myth. It is also sisters. The guy will say we are fasting, and the sister is thinking we are not really fasting. So, uh, the Lord help us in Jesus' name. <laughs> lift up, lift up, lift up your communion. <laughs> lift, lift up. Somebody was. You, you have heard the <laughs> somebody said somebody once told me that we we must you see we must we must polish our understanding of God. Somebody once told me that when when husband and wife are doing their business that the Holy Spirit leaves the room. <laughs> it's a lie. Oh. In fact, you can ask the Holy Ghost for help to be in Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> Lift up your uh, your communion to the Lord. My point is just have your agreement. Just have your agreement. Let's pray in the spirit for one minute as we, before we have com- this communion. This is a spiritual meal. This is not you breaking your fast. This is you partaking of what that which is from on high, ordained by the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Escateli brado shita baras ke te benate skumbra hados ke veliska maruda do sete li brados ke ma. Tell the Lord as you take of this partake of this spiritual meal with your with 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 all of us together, your body, your spirit, your mind benefits from this meal. Your spirit, your body, your mind benefits. We were told this morning about revelations. This is a good time, like you said. This is a very good time for revelations. You, that you'll be sensitive. 
you this meal will ask the Lord for that this meal will activate your sensitivity. You will be more sensitive than you used to be in the name of Jesus. This meal coupled with your fasting, coupled with your praying, will come we will, will bring results, will bring spiritual results like you have never seen before. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. You know, o- overnight I had a dream, and I won't go into the details, but uh, in that dream, I was I was speaking to a group of people, and they. I was going to speak to them on prayer, and the first thing I said to them was, "How can you say you are praying if you have no vision?" And when I woke up, I was thinking about it. That was like the long and short of it. You cannot pray if you cannot see. There is nothing like, there is general prayer. But many times your general prayer is not effective because you don't even know what you are dealing with. So before, the first prayer should be, Lord, what am I dealing with? Before you now say, okay, this is you that I'm dealing with. Get out of here in the name of Jesus. If it's a demonic thing, you must know. If it is something by that you caused with your own hand that you should be repenting about, you sh- must know. Otherwise, you'll be casting a demon, whereas the demon was you. You understand me? So just pray that prayer quick, that Lord will give us vision. That God will sharpen our vision. It is like he said, it's not just about praying for three hours. If you are going to pray for three hours, you better be praying the right thing for three hours. Otherwise, you are just suffering for nothing. So say, Lord, sharpen our vision. Sharpen our vision and give us strength. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Just lift up your bread and your wine to the Lord Jesus this morning. Lord Jesus, we lift up this bread and this wine unto you. You said that we should do this in remembrance of you. It is also the cup of blessing according to the revelation you gave Apostle Paul. Father, as we take this bread and this wine, symbols of your flesh and your body, let our mind be renewed. Let our body be strengthened. Let our spirit be re-energized. Everything that is not of you in our system will wash away in the name of Jesus. Let this bread and this wine go into every aspect of our lives. Repairing what needs to be repaired. Strengthening what is weak. Hardening that which is missing. Sharpening that which is dull in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus name we pray. Amen. You can eat have your bread and your wine quickly. Like we did the, um some weeks ago, I'm going to anoint our hands and then you you place that hand on your head and pray for yourself. So, uh Pastor Sam, Pastor Bruce, please come. I'm just going to anoint your hands. And then you lay that hand on your head and just pray for yourself. In the name of Jesus. Just people just quickly come. If it's not there, let me see. Is it there? <laughs> ah, it's there now. Hallelujah. Place that hand on your head and pray for yourself. Place that hand on your head and pray for yourself. No, you. I will anoint you, you lay hands on your son, on your daughter. Lay your hands on your son. Uh, Pastor Sam, for Joshua and Caleb. Uh, he will lay hands on you. Come, bring your head, bring your head. In the name of Jesus. Who else have I not anointed? Zanda Barato Siakadus. Just lay your hands on your two children. Mata Brando to Sita Kaduskir Zeta Brahad. If you if you if you're husband here, yeah, lay your hands on your wife for a few a few minutes and just pray for your wife. 
lay your hands on your children. Even, even as a wife, even though your wife has laid hands on her own head, husbands lay your hands on your own wives. Zate brado to shkete gedia, ma de brando skobo sila brando skete hila ba, rodo dosi kahande de brado ske balo ske parus kapande, me brando dosi zaham brado ske, zate baro to zia kato sili brando skete. Bring me those children one by one. Bring me the children one by one quickly. Brando dosi zembrahato skebalis zete brando zoski abahande brahedo velato skebe mambrato skabambalata brando sketia zete keti kabrando skezeze li brahato ske zate brando dosi z made de li brahato ski ba yakedos zete brahedo skeveri zante de brahedo ski banasizo zate teke li gete gemen. Men take authority. Men take authority. Men take authority. Take authority over your own family. You are the priest of your own family. Take authority quickly, 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 quickly. Zeto parus kapelis kaban rododusiam baratos kebenis zamba bole hembrahatos kaba mededu zazeli zade brahandos kezeli zeto shkabande redodosi zamba lato brahados ke. Hai crovela se hambrado skepelias zeto papoliamba redo skima hande glory to Jesus in Jesus name we have prayed Father I lift up everyone here unto you this morning just lift up your two hands to the Lord Jesus Lord I lift up every single person in this place male female adult children put them in your hands once again and I declare these ones untouchable. Amen. I declare these ones unconquerable. Amen. Like the gate of hell cannot prevail over the church. Hell cannot prevail against this one. Sickness cannot prevail against this one. Diseases cannot prevail against this one. Anyone that fights you has fought God Amen. and they will meet God. In the name of Jesus, anyone that oppresses you has come against the Lord God of hosts, and they will meet the Lord God of hosts. In the name of Jesus, let your promotion be swift. Let the Lord himself pull you up. In the name of Jesus, let your, the advantage of the Holy Ghost be seen in your lives. In the name of Jesus, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover everything that concerns you with the blood of Jesus. Anyone whose family member is not here, because of them, those ones also are covered with the blood of Jesus. And you are safe from all evil. You live by the economy of the Holy Ghost. And you never lack. Your head will never lack oil. And your band would always be filled. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, I lift up their tithes and their offerings unto you. Accept them and accept their offerings. In the name of Jesus. You ready to go home? You ready to go home? We are going to shout seven hallelujahs and we'll go home. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? One, two, go. Hallelujah. 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 Holy Ghost. Emma, we Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Glory to Jesus. Holy Ghost. Up. Emma, we pray up, Holy Ghost. Up, Emma, we pray up, Holy Ghost. Emma, we pray up, Holy Ghost. Emma, we pray up, Holy Ghost. You cup us up, Holy Ghost. Professionals up, Holy Ghost. 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 Up, Holy Gh